Range Rovers have been shipped from the UK to Southern Africa for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's 10-day tour, it was revealed today. The 4x4s were drafted and because organizers at the palace were unable to locally obtain secure enough vehicles suitable for Harry, Meghan and baby Archie. The cars for the trip were understood to have been offered by Jaguar Land Rover, and were transported at no cost to the taxpayer, the Press Association reports. But the shipping of the cars over a 10,000-mile distance will raise further eyebrows over the couple's green credentials despite them promoting environmental issues. The manufacturer has provided vehicles for the royal family for decades, including on foreign visits, despite numerous firms in South Africa offering luxury armored Land Rovers to rent locally. Meghan was pictured arriving in a British-registered Blue Range Rover during her visit to the University of Johannesburg, South Africa, this morning. Harry and Meghan were criticized in August for flying by private jet four times in 11 days, rather than going commercial, despite speaking out on environmental issues. The Duke has previously said that he would have a maximum of two children due to his concerns about climate change. Speaking in British Vogue in August, Harry said, what we need to remind everybody is, these are things that are happening now. We are already living in it. We are the frog in the water and it's already been brought to the boil. Which is terrifying. In September, Harry defended the couple's occasional private flights and said they were necessary to keep his family safe. He said during a visit to Amsterdam, if I have to do that, it is not a decision that I want to take, but if I have to do that, then I will ensure, as I have done previously, and as I will continue to make sure that I do, that I balance out that impact that I have. He added, I have always offset my CEO too. I think part of the group discussion that we had earlier is what is offsetting CEO too. The couple flew with Archie on a scheduled flight to South Africa with a 14-strong entourage, including their nanny and a hairdresser, both paid for by the couple. They have faced flack over alleged hypocrisy after taking a series of trips by private jet while campaigning on green issues. Carjacking is at epidemic levels in South Africa, and palace officials will have been at pains to ensure the safety of the couple while touring the country. Armored vehicles are big business in the country which sees nearly 50 hijackings a day, and people spend up to £80,000 bulletproofing their vehicles. Vehicle armoring firm Amormax has warned hijackers with AK-47s are switching from lead core to steel core bullets, which can pierce through conventional armor. The company, which generally deals with rich clients, has added that hijackers are now taking motorists with them to prevent them from reporting the incident. Jaguar Land Rover and the Palace have both been contacted for comment. Meghan was pictured climbing out of a British-registered Blue Range Rover on Tuesday as she arrived for her visit to the University of Johannesburg. Jaguar Range Rover has provided vehicles for the royal family for decades, including on foreign visits. Royal followers were quick to voice their opinion on the shipment as the couple prepared to wrap up their tour on Wednesday. One person said, I live in SA for years. Armored vehicles are everywhere. Another person acknowledged the security risk posed to members of the royal family in the developing country but added, that said, it still do seem something of an extravagance. Harry and Meghan jetted into Cape Town on September 23 for their first royal tour since becoming parents and have sought to use the heavily publicized trip as a way to distance themselves from a summer of negative news. The couple faced a barrage of criticism in August after reportedly taking four private jet journeys in 11 days. Singer Elton John defended the Sussexes, saying he had paid for carbon offsets for the flights to his French villa and back. Harry and Meghan are outspoken advocates of eco-conscious living and have encouraged people to play their part to help the environment. Speaking for a special edition of British Vogue in August, Harry said, What we need to remind everybody is, these are things that are happening now. We are already living in it. We are the frog in the water and it's already been brought to the boil. Which is terrifying. The Duke said his young family took occasional private flights which were necessary to keep them safe. During the speech in Amsterdam he said, If I have to do that, it is not a decision that I want to take. But if I have to do that, then I will ensure, as I have done previously, 
and as I will continue to make sure that I do, that I balance out that impact that I have.